You know, when it comes to argumentation, a lot of people tend to overvalue certainty and undervalue probability. It's understandable because certainty gives you these nice, neat categories that allow you to understand with almost uh, impeccable precision what a thing is or is not. This is the case with deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning tries to cram all of the information that is relevant to a particular argument into a single category in order to talk about the relation between those categories. And these kinds of arguments are great for getting a general sense of something, but they tend to be, well, a little abstract. See, here in the world that we live, we mostly deal with probability. Take, for example, well, these popsicles that I'm gonna eat. Uh, I might really want to eat a cherry popsicle, this red one here, but in reality, it's just as likely that I'll end up with the deeply inferior grape popsicle than I will get any of the good flavors. This is an exercise in probability, and much of life is also an exercise in probability, in understanding the differences between things that are necessary for something to happen and things that are, well, sufficient or guarantee that something will happen. The only guarantee that I will get a cherry popsicle is if all of the grape and orange ones are gone, but it is a necessity that I have the box in the first place. In this unit, we're gonna be talking about probability, we're gonna be talking about inductive reasoning, and we're gonna to, going to be talking about necessary and sufficient conditions. And all of this is a way of getting at the kind of reasoning that we do far more often and in a far more messy way than we do when we make deductive arguments. So, with that said, let's jump into this unit.